Polarized light microscopy can mean any of a number of optical microscopy techniques involving polarized light. Simple techniques include illumination of the sample with polarized light. Directly transmitted light can, optionally, be blocked with a polarizer orientated at 90 degrees to the illumination. More complex microscopy techniques which take advantage of polarized light include differential interference contrast microscopy and interference reflection microscopy. Scientists will often use a device called a polarizing plate to convert natural light into polarized light. These illumination techniques are most commonly used on birefringent samples where the polarized light interacts strongly with the sample and so generating contrast with the background. Polarized light microscopy is used extensively in optical mineralogy. The Mitchell-Levy chart As polarized light passes through a birefringent sample, the phase difference between the fast and slow directions varies with the thickness, and wavelength of light used. The optical path difference o, p, d, is defined as O P D equals delta N T Display style O P D equals delta N C D O T T, where T is the thickness of the sample. This then leads to a phase difference between the light passing in the two vibration directions of delta equals two pi delta N T lambda. Display style delta equals two pi delta N C D O T T lambda. For example, if the optical path difference is lambda 2 display style lambda 2 then the phase difference will be pi display style pi and so the polarization will be perpendicular to the original resulting in all of the light passing through the analyzer for crossed polars. If the optical path difference is n lambda display style n c d o t lambda then the phase difference will be 2 n pi display style 2 n c d o t pi and so the polarization will be parallel to the original this means that no light will be able to pass through the analyzer which it is now perpendicular to the mitchell levy chart named after august mitchell levy arises when polarized white light is passed through a birefringent sample if the sample is of uniform thickness, then only one specific wavelength will meet the above condition described above, and be perpendicular to the direction of the analyzer. This means that instead of polychromatic light being viewed at the analyzer, one specific wavelength will have been removed. This information can be used in a number of ways. If the birefringence is known, then the thickness t, of the sample can be determined. If the thickness is known, then the birefringence of the sample can be determined as the order of the optical path difference increases, then it is more likely that more wavelengths of light will be removed from the spectrum. This results in the appearance of the color being washed out, and it becomes more difficult to determine the properties of the sample. This, however, only occurs when the sample is relatively thick when compared to the wavelength of light. Comparison of transillumination techniques used to generate contrast in a sample of tissue paper. 1.559 micrometers pixel topic see also petrographic microscope